Hello and welcome to 1000 Word Interviews. My name's Mordecai and today I'm here with William. William. Hey guys. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview and speaking with me today. A pleasure, mate. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. So to get started, could you just tell us a few things about yourself? Uh, about me, I'm 35 years old. I live in the town of Brokunga. I work in a backpackers hostel and I'm a bit of a traveler and I like sports and hiking. Okay, fantastic. And today we're going to speak about a photo of yours that's important to you. So if you're ready, we'll get started. Sure. Okay. First question. Could you describe what we can see in this photo? In the photo, you can see that there's five adults, uh, three males, two females. Uh, we're smiling and posing, happy. And there is some bright lighting in the background. Fantastic. And it looks like an interesting place, but we'll hear more about that in a minute. So where was this photo taken? It was taken in Sydney in a film studio. Okay. What is a film studio? A film studio is where you film television or movies or uh, entertainment. Okay, fantastic. So it was filmed in Sydney. Sorry, the photo was taken in Sydney. Mm -hmm. And when was the photo taken? In January this year. Fantastic. So it's a recent photo? Yes. <laughs> and next question. Who are these people that we can see in the photo? So I'm the second on the left in the white shirt. And on my left in the picture is a game show host called Mark Fennell. Okay. And what about the other people in the photo? The others are contestants like myself. So we were uh, contestants on a game show. Okay, wow. So you've used a couple of interesting words there. Contestants on a game show. Mm, what does that mean? Uh, we were on a show answering questions. Uh, the person that answered the most questions wins. And the person who answers the least loses. Okay, so you were, it was kind of like a competition. Yes. Okay. And the man in the middle, he was the host... Hmm. So what was his role? So he asked the questions and he was in, in charge of the show. Okay. So he's kind of running, running what was going on. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So what was actually happening in this moment when the photo was taken? So this was just after we had filmed our episode. So we all had to, well, we all chose to pose with Mark Fennell and, uh, yeah. Okay, so this was just a photo to remember the to event. remember the memory, yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, Will, why have you actually chosen this photo? What's the story behind it? Can you tell us more about this game show? So, I've always wanted to try something to get myself out of my comfort zone a bit, and one of those things is going on a game show. So, I applied and went on a show that I like called Mastermind. Um, they, you answer questions, as I said earlier, but uh, there was a general knowledge round and a specialty topic round. I had the specialty topic of European capital cities off the top of my head, although I'm not that much of an expert on it. But it was good fun. I didn't win, but I didn't come last. Okay. So in that case, in this show, each person had to answer questions and they could choose their own sort of area of expertise. Correct. Or area of knowledge. Yes. And what did you choose again? I chose European capital cities. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of European capital cities. There is. I. It's funny. I applied for the show online, answered some general knowledge questions. Then about eight months later, got a phone call being like, oh, you've, you've made it to the next round. Can you choose a specialty topic that you're very knowledgeable of? And we had to give four options. And my first three were, oh, uh, the football team I support, <laughs> uh, cricket, uh, something else I can't remember off the top of my head. But European capital cities was like my last choice. But they thought that would be the best for the show. And I happily agreed. Um, so I had some uh, references to, to practice and learn. Um, prior to the show that they were going to get their questions from. So I did a bit of reading up and 
didn't make a fool of myself yeah. on TV, but almost. Right. So, so I think you've already mentioned this, but how did you go? Were you the winner? I was not the winner. I came third out of four. Okay. I was happy. I, I had a good time, so I was happy enough with. Three out of four, bronze medal. Correct. Okay. <laughs> and what was the experience like? Was there anything funny that happened as part of your experience on the game show? Yeah, for me, probably the funniest little thing for me, before the filming and before we'd met Mark, there's a show, uh, I don't know, runners or organisers, that uh, they talked us through what may happen, how to act under the uh, bright lights of the camera. But anyway, we'd go and sit down and we're filming and then stop, 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 somebody came out and be like, oh, we, we need to have a quick uh, makeup check. And I was getting the reflection of the bright lights off my bald head. So I had to get some makeup uh, uh, put on my bald head to uh, continue. So just to clarify, you're in the middle of filming filming the show. And someone said, stop, we have a problem. Yeah. And someone had to come over and put something on your head to stop the lights reflecting off. Correct. Your bald scalp. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Um, uh, okay, final question. What's something that you're looking forward to in the future? Uh, so just in my life in general has nothing to do with the picture, but hopefully my wife and I are buying a camper van tonight and we're wanting to drive around Australia. I haven't seen very much of my own country in my lifetime, so looking forward to getting out exploring especially the countryside and being on the road around the country okay fantastic that should be a great a great holiday great adventure great experience i hope i'm sure it will be so well thank you so much for sharing your story about the game show and your bald head it's been fun <laughs> thanks mate it's um been, it's been a pleasure yeah it certainly has so thank you all for watching as always you can find all of the questions and answers below in the description as well as a suggested lesson plan if you happen to be an english teacher so I hope you've enjoyed our conversation and see you next time. Cheers, Will. Thanks, mate.